What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossmarTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. In this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the MUL instruction or short for multiplication. So let's get started. I'm going to first open up this notepad here. So this is the syntax here of a MUL instruction and there are three versions, right? You can either use uh, MUL, type in MUL, which is the instruction, hit space, type in a 8-bit register or 8-bit memory, right? The second version is we're typing in MUL, hit space, and type in either a 16-bit register or a 16-bit memory. Now the third version here, we're typing in MUL, we're going to hit space, we're going to type in a 32-bit register or 32-bit memory. All right, the way it works is uh, whatever is in AL will get multiplied automatically, so you have to move values that you want to multiply in AL, right? It'll mu multiply with whatever uh, operand you put next to this multiplication instruction. So if it's a uh, 16, if, sorry, if it's a 8-bit uh, value, you can put a, a BL, or you can put a 8-bit uh, memory operand in there. So it'll multiply the two together, and the results get stored in AX. So I'll show you how that works right now. But um, first, let's let me show you this example. So we're gonna move into AL 2H, right? So then we're gonna move into BL 5H. So this is the MUL instruction here. We're going to type in MUL and hit space and type in our operand we want to multiply, which is BL. So it's automatically going to first uh, multiply whatever's in AL, right? It's going to look for whatever's in AL, then multiply it with BL because we, this is our operand we chose to multiply. So 2 times 5 should be 10. So right here. So 2H times 5 equals 10H, right? And uh, the results get stored in AX, right? And the zero flag is not set because it was no overflow. So... Let's open up MU8086 here so I can show you how it works. So let's start off by moving around some values. Let's move into AL, let's say 5H, right? Let's move into BL, 2H. Let's hit uh, space a couple of times. Let's use the multiplication or MUL instruction. Type in MUL, hit space. Type in the operand we want to uh, multiply. It has to be an 8 bit operand because we're using 8 bit. Uh, registers up here. So I'm going to type in BL, right? So it's automatically going to look for whatever's in AL, right? It's going to multiply that with whatever operand you chose to put next to the multiplication uh, instruction here. So it's going to multiply AL with BL. So the results should get stored in AX. So let's hit emulate here. So our first line of code here is highlight and move into AL5H. Once I hit single step, AL should have 5, and it does. So our second line of code is highlight and move into BL2H. So once I hit single step, BL should have 2H, so I'm going to hit single step. As you can see, BL has 2H now, right? Now our third line of code is highlighted, the MUL instruction, the multiply instruction, and we chose a operand of, of 8 bits, and it's a 8-bit register, BL. So it's going to multiply BL with AL, because it's going to automatically look for whatever's in AL, right? And we, and we put 5H in AL, and we put uh, 2H in BL. So it's going to multiply uh, 5 and 2, So and the results will be stored in AX. So, so let's see what happens. I'm going to hit single step. Now AX has a value of 0A, that's hexadecimal. So I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to open up my browser. And I have this uh, binary to decimal to hexadecimal uh, page open. I'm going to leave it in the description if you guys are interested. I'm going to uh, paste it here in hexadecimal. And, uh, and I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, decimal of uh, 0A is 10. So our answer was 10. Let's look at this example here. This is an example of a 16-bit version here. So we're going to move into AX, let's say 2000H, right? So then we're going to move into BX, 100H. So it's automatically going to look for uh, whatever's in AX. So when we use the multiplication instruction, the MUL instruction down here, and we type in our operand, it's going to first look at AX. It's going to multiply whatever's in AX with the operand we chose to put next to this multiplication instruction, which is BX, and BX has a value of 100. So 2000H times 100H should be 200,000 here. And uh, the carry flag would be set to one. The reason the carry flag would be set to one is because for the, the last four bits here, it's for the AX register. The results will get stored in the AX register. And the, the, the first four bits here, it's for the DX register. So if the, the result is uh, greater than four digits, the carry flag would be set and, and uh, the rest would be shifted over to DX here. So uh, you, you would add a zero, and then the rest would be shifted over to DX. That's how we would get the answer. So let's try it out. So let's open up this here. Let's replace AL with AX. All right. Let's replace BL with BX. Let's change BL again to BX. Let's change, uh, what, what value do we have? Okay, let's make AL have a value of 
200 H, right? Or 2000 H, I'm sorry. And BX have a value of 100 H, right? So let's hit emulate to see what happens. So the first line of code here is highlighted, move into AX 2000 H. So once I hit single step, AX should have 2000 H, and it does, as you can see here. So our second line of code here is highlighted, move into BX 100 H. Once I hit single step, BX should have 100 H, and it does right here. Now, our third uh, line of code here is highlighted multiply BX, right? We hit multiply, we type in MUL, we hit space, and we, and we hit our operating, we want to multiply. It first looks for our uh, AX, it looks to see whatever's in AX, it multiplies that with whatever uh, operand you chose to put next to this multiplication instruction. In this case, it's BX, so AX has a value of 2000H, BX has a value of 100H. Once I hit single step here, now uh, AX here is zero, right? Because the first four uh, digits are, are are used. If 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 the number uh, goes over, our carry flag here is set. So let's see what the flag. Our carry flag is set to one, and uh, the other uh, four bits get stored into DX. So it's two thousand, as you can see here. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'll go over it one more time from the beginning. Let's not close this. So again, we moved into AX two thousand H, right? So then we moved into BX one hundred H. So when we use the multiplication instruction with a 16-bit operands and 16-bit register, right, the the number gets stored in uh, dx and ax together, as you can see right here, dx and ax together. If the number is greater than four digits, some some of the number gets stored in dx, right. So I'll give you an example of how that would look here. So our, our we we got 200,000, right? So there's eight bits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 200,000 would be here, the two would be here, right? So the AX would be all zeros. Sorry, from here, AX, this is AX portion, this is the BX, or I'm sorry, the DX portion. Since the, the number is greater than four bits, the carry flag was set, and uh, the remainder of the number was moved into DX. So that's how we got a DX here with a value of 20, and the AX with a value of uh, four zeros. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.